Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel on what is a sweltering hot day in Lincolnshire in Dad's workshop. We're back with the 1949 Armstrong Sidley Lancaster and a quick test drive and get the car out of the way for the Festival of the Unexceptional turned into a little bit of a saga. This is the series that we didn't think we would be filming this year. Dad has done some welding on the chassis after condemning the car and uh, the offside seemingly now all repaired. We took it for a test drive in the previous video and the sway and the pull to the left hand side that we had is now gone. We did discover however that the car well wasn't firing right, uh, was misfiring under load for some reason, that was a problem that developed and the brakes well were less than useful. Um, Dad was unhappy with that and has been doing some work on the brakes too. In this video then we'll have a chat with Dad because he's found some more problems with the offside and has been working on the near side. Hello, good morning. Hello, dude. How are you? I'm all right, mate. Uh, it's a bit warm in the workshop today. It'll be even warmer in a second. Why? Well, what are you about to do? Oh my goodness, you've got a blooming heat gun thing out. What are you doing? <laughs> oh dear. Messing about with uh, with you. With, oh. oh. You what? I'm just going to try some. Shall I? Shall I start again when you finish blow torching? You can if you know. People might want to see me doing this. Well, just explain to us what you're doing then. I'm just oh. kneeling these copper washers. Why? Well, hopefully I'm out because they're a bit of a funny size. And I might be able to use them again if I kneel them. Okay. Just, uh... Yeah, yeah. I'll let you. I'll let you do what you're doing with your copper washers. That should soften them up again. Good. It's old school mechanicing. That is old school mechanicing, and that leads us on nicely to uh, lots of work being done on the Armstrong Sidley Lancaster. The last time we spoke to you, you had um, fixed the chassis. You'd welded the chassis. Jolly well have. And uh, we took it for a test drive, and it fixed the problem. It yeah. fixed the uh, pulling to the near side issue. Why had it done that? Why? Did the car do that? Do we actually know? I think it has been old age. Um, and then we discovered on that test drive that it was misfiring under load. It is, yeah. We thought, I don't know, what did we think the issue was? Spark plugs? Or? Know, I'll tell you what I did. The first thing I did when I decided to come in here and have a tinker around yeah. is check the compressions and they're for a car of this age, they're not too bad really. Oh, so you've got a list of things you've done there. So you, just talk us through that. How did you check the compressions? With my compression gauge, mate, just plug it in, yeah. wind, hold the throttle open and just spin the engine over. And it and it was compressing on all cylinders, okay? Yeah, bizarrely enough, the best compressions are on the cylinders that we're a problem with. Oh, right, okay. So you check the compression, yeah, not an issue, and then what did you do? Check the plug caps, and bizarrely enough, the two new champion bow tie plug caps that we replaced when you got the car yeah. have both gone open circuit. Oh, Right. And then okay. I go on the forums and the people with the Jaguars and the E-types and that, which run all these, are having the same problem. They're all changing them to NGKs. So why did we change those first and foremost? Because they've gone open circuit. Okay. And were no. they were they original, do you think, the, the ones that No, they've been changed. No. So they sit sort of on on there, don't they? You can you can see them in caps, in there, yeah. the plug caps. Yeah. Um so you've replaced them with N NGK plug yeah, caps now, not champions. I trundled off to my local moped shop who says, yes, duck, I've got some of them. Yeah. I'm still waiting for it to get me some more. So how much So how much was one of them then? £6.95. Let's just have a quick look at that. And so that's just, oh, so LB05EZ. So oh, I see. So they are for... So hopefully the good lady will have some today for me when I so look up there. Would you say that that's a, a modification, an up rate? Well, no, because it's running, it'll always have suppressor caps on it because it's got solid copper core leads for the radio suppression but you need a bit of resistance in your plug wires to make the spark better yeah but yeah. they had just failed then yeah but the problem like i say i'm guessing they're imported oh right i understand what you're getting i'm at. guessing they are so they're not original you can British get these made now. stock I wouldn't think so, to be honest with you. Imported from know, the China or somewhere like that. The champ, they call them champion bow tie ones. But like I say, all these Jaguars and stuff have them on, and they're having the same problem with them. They're putting them on, they're going 30 miles, and they've broken down again. So that's what was 
probably causing us the misfire. The misfire on the load. load, yeah. Could it have literally failed just in like one test drive to the other? Because the first test drive we went on was fine, uh, and then the second test drive, yeah, it's causing the plugs to fail. Look, you see, right? It's so making was, it worse. That was causing us an issue. Uh, the plugs okay though. I think so. Yeah. So you've checked the plugs; they're all all right. We need to whip one out to see what sort they are. Okay, well, let's do that then. Yeah, just whip one out. Let's get a get a plug well, out. Quick. Here, so we can see if you've got some in stock. Yeah. So we can so I uh, cleared out a local garage yesterday um, and bought lots of vintage items, including plugs and plug leads and uh, all sorts of stuff. So you're taking out the spark plug. Yeah. And it's always good to have a spare set of spark plugs. It is with an old car like for this. For an old you car. Can, if you've got a problem, you can just whip them out and swap them on swap the road. Swap them over quick. And well, we'll see what that one is Deal with the problem then. later. There you go. Yeah, it's a moped plug, isn't it? B6HS. B6HS. I'll have to have a look, see if I've got any of them yeah. in stock. I'm not sure I have, but uh, we'll, um, we'll check them out. Have. I bet you've got some in stock, do you reckon? Well, lots of things. So. In your spark plugs yeah. storage area. BPR6HS. That means they're resistor ones. And is that not what we want? No, because we've got resist, resistor caps. Okay, all right, well, yeah. we'll, have a, we'll have a look, but at least we know what we need now. B BP6S, yeah? Yeah, that's the same thing, but a resistor, because it's got an R in the number, look. Okay, can't have them. Well, it could. We'll just take the resistor caps off and put plain caps on. You don't want too much resistance. You need a bit in your ignition circuit. But do you know what I'm saying? That's a moped plug, that is. Right. Would that be what would be originally in the car? No, Champion. Champion. Champion L10s. Why haven't we bought Champion L10s, then? Modern stuff is better. I or not. don't know if you can even get them anymore. Okay, so. fair enough. Well, I'm just thinking so you can see if you've got some in your stock. Yep, okay. Just well, that's, rushing off and buying some. That's something we can look at then. I can have a good yeah. old fish through there. So, in your opinion now, with those replacement plug caps and everything you've done, it should, in theory, be running... We shall find out, shall we? ...be running right. Okay, so the next video will be a test drive, but it should be running right. There's always plenty of tinkering to be done on these old cars. Yes, you do love a, a good little tinker on your Armstrong Plenty. Sydney. And talking about tinkering then, in the last video, I mentioned to you, actually the brakes didn't feel so good. No. Uh, and we discovered something. I'll we let you put did. that. did. I'll let you put I'll that. I'll tell you what the problem is, mate. What's and that? The blinking seals that we got off a well-known auction site. Yes. I don't think are very good. So we replaced, what, a year and a bit ago, the well, wheel the, the cylinder front seals. The wheel cylinders were seized up. Yep. So I took the pistons out and cleaned them Pistons? Up. Yeah, put the, and put some fresh seals in. Yep. And the seals are not very good. Okay. So you've put the old ones back on? I have at the moment, yeah. And I've got a better brake. So talk us through what you've done with the brakes so well, far. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, I'll compare one now, since we're here. Oh, okay. I'll put my gloves on, because I don't want to get dirty today. No. So you've got off the car today... I've got a wheel cylinder off. Wheel cylinder off, cylinder off because that needs some repair. We'll talk it about does. that in a second. The threads have gone on the thingamajigs. So actually, it's quite a massive... It is a big old wheel cylinder, uh, wheel compared, cylinder to your, there. compared to your uh, rear wheel cylinder. It looks like the rear wheel cylinder... Off a Land Rover? No, if it was a rear wheel cylinder on a Mini, it's been been to the gym and it's been on steroids. <laughs> it's been juicing. That so it's a massive thing, it is a yeah, and It just looks like a mini, mini wheel cylinder, but they're half the size. Girling wheel cylinders, you've replaced the... Uh, Let's just whip it to bits. Interior. Let's whip it to bits. Whip it to bits. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal at all. So what are you doing there? You're taking off the... I'm taking off the rubber boot thing. Yep. Take hold of the piston. Yeah, pistons. And I'll do the other end. That's the rubber grease. The stupid thing about this is that the new seals are rubbish. I'll have to get a door. They're available to buy on the interwebs. And that's what we replaced, wasn't it? We replaced those. Well, yeah, things. I took them there. We put some new ones in, which is good practice. Let's just have a poke around. There's a blinking spring in there, and I don't want him to disappear. Bums. 
Do, 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 do. I might not be able to get them out at the minute. Okay, well don't Hang don't on. panic. Don't take them out unnecessarily. How do I put the compressor on? Well, yeah. <laughs> what did you just do there? I blew some wind in it and it blew it out. And it popped it out. Ah, oh, there we go. So let's have a look at that spring. Look. I don't want to show you. Where's the spring in there? Yeah, that spring's what keeps it in contact with the drum. The sort of self-adjusting mechanism. I like how you've replaced this, you've repaired it, and now you've taken it apart to show it's us that you've repaired it. <laughs> well, I'm going to take it to bits again anyway when I do that repair. Uh, but look, this is the well-known auction site seal. Yeah. Let's have a look at that. Oh, it's a bit thin. Thin there. Oh, yeah. Look at the difference there. Yeah. So the, the thickness between here and there, well, that's five mil, isn't it? But look how flimsy these are. Yeah. And how sturdy these are. Why would that then cause a problem? I'm sure they won't do in 99% of the cases, but I reckon the way this works, it doesn't like the fact that... Uh, but you can get these thick ones on the, on the eBay's, I've right. seen them. Okay. I'm not panicking. So the ones you've put in are the, one, the old ones? I've put the old ones back, back at the moment, in. yeah, just to prove a point. That's, um, that's a problem, isn't it? Okay, so that, that's what you've been doing with the wheel cylinder, but what else have you found? Hey, You said you found a problem, something to do with repair. Oh, crikey, oh, the threads have gone on there. I took it out to bleed it, and then when I wanted to screw that back in again, the threads have finally failed. So, so the bleed nipple threads have failed? Yeah. Uh, is that a new wheel cylinder time then? Or? Well, in an ideal world, yeah. Okay, so why but aren't we... They're rather expensive. Yeah, they are. They're £170. They're, they're very, 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 very expensive. Um, would you say £170 is extortionately priced? It's very, very expensive, isn't it? We'll find some cheaper than that. No, we don't. We're going to repair this, aren't we? So we're going to repair that I one. bought this kit, yeah, and basically what you do, you drill this out, tap it to eighth pipe thread, and you put this adapter in, which uses a smaller bleed nipple. Right. And I think that should be okay then, son. Okay. That's yeah. proper old school mechanicing as well. well could you, could you send that away to be... You could. Yeah. My hero, Alan Milliard, would probably machine this out and make a sleeve to fit it and totally restore it. Do all sorts of stuff. Yeah. But we're not going to be doing that. Um, no. Does I, don't, that... I don't have the skills to do it. Does that mean you're going to use your hydraulic press? Uh, no. <laughs> much as I should like to do. Much as I should like to do. I don't think there's any call for hydraulic pressing. But, uh, be all so, that's right, the, so. so that's the plan with the wheel cylinder then. You're going to drill it out, put a sleeve in, which makes sense, I understand, and put a different... Uh, it is. Put a different um, bleed nipple in well, there. We'll see if it works on them, mainly for caliper repair on... Uh, that's sort of the sell them for on the old eBay's. Would that then... That issue there be causing the issue with the brakes? Because it's letting air in and out. Might be. I don't think so. It was okay until I tinkered with it. Right. The main trouble was the seals. And they were leaking. Leaking air? Yeah, there's leaking, there leaking fluid as well. And is that what caused us to have a bad brake pedal? Didn't help, did it? Right, okay. So are you confident now, once you put all that back together, the brakes will be better? It all depends how good these bores are, because I've owned them before. Oh, uh, and put no seal. I think it'll be better. Yes. Good. Okay. So what else have you done then? Worked on the working on the brakes on the uh, so I've done all that. Side. I'd stripped all that up down, hadn't I? Let's have a look because last time we didn't see that properly because I'd uh, stripped the all the hub was down. So didn't stripped I? all the hub down. Cleaned it all out. And checked those gay boots. Yep. The boots and they're fantastic. They're still okay. The leather. Aren't those they? are the leather boots. And How about? I'll tell you what else I did. What else have you done? Put a new boot on that uh, drag link there. Oh yeah, you showed us that. That was from a Peugeot, wasn't it? It certainly was. And we've got to go around the other side now. Okay, let's go around yon side. Yon side, mate. Yon side, that's Lincolnshire, that is. Oh, people don't like to see that clamp on there. <laughs> oh. What have you got on there? I've got a blooming girding brake part clamp on it. You've got some boots to do as well? Well, I want to raid your stock, because this truck got any boot has got some sort of two things wedged on it. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, right. I'll need to take it to bits and have a look at it first. 
see what I'm dealing with. So you thought you'd finished on the offside to work on the near side, and actually now you're working on both at the same time. I am, yeah. What have you done this it, side? This top here had got some gaffer tape on it. Which to top? Stop Let's have a look. To stop the grease leaking out, because that plug in the top was leaking. All oh, right. So I've soldered that back in. But I'm not going to strip all this down. I'm opening myself up to errors. I wanted to show you this, though. This is what I wanted to show you. And it's not the end of the world yet, but it's not going to get any better. Right, that's... Uh... Not what I wanted to hear. Watch the top arm. Can you see that top? Yes, it moves. It's not going to get any better. This can play in the shock absorber. Mm. New shock absorber time then. Well, it's a bit reconditioned thing. Let's it? have a look under there again. Can you see it? That was... Oh yeah, I can see that. Bush, that the, yeah. Not going to get any better. Anyway, so we've got that as well to sort out. If you've got an Armstrong Sidley, you've always got some tinkering to do. <laughs> That's the ethos. Yeah, keeps you occupied. Is that everything you've done? Let's have a look at your little list here. See what else you've done. So, next, check lead for cap resistance. Well, we've done that. Yeah. Reseal near side front brake. That's ongoing. Check wear marks, adjust rear brakes. Yeah. Why do you need to adjust the rear brakes? Well, it's not been done since uh, I firstly did it, so it's just, it's just a matter of things to remind me to do. To do? Okay, fair enough. Well, get these boots sorted out on these. Uh, if every time you touch the car, you make it a bit better than it was last time. Yeah. It's a good thing, isn't it? Absolutely. Still enjoying the project? Well, I just pop out and have a couple of minutes and I enjoy it. I've not become, it's not become a chore yet. I wasn't very chuffed when that wheel cylinder caused me some grief, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. It wasn't what I needed. No. Especially seeing as I thought I'd got it sussed. But you're confident now the brakes should be better? This one though was actually leaking quite a lot. Oh. And that's why it was pulling, because when you get brake fluid on drum brakes, they tend to grab. Yep. And that's why it was pulling. Oh, at least yeah. we, so we're not, <laughs> we're, go on, say you, it. You say it. We're not wasting our time then. No, my son. Excellent. Well, thank you for your hard work. When your mum's got some washing up for me to do, I can disappear out here and ah. say, I'm busy in the garage, dear. That's a little tactic I like to do at home. When Mrs. John Cooten's got uh, a little job to do, I've always got, um, I don't some, know, something to do with the something inspector. Something important. Or, yeah, to something do. important to do before work. Right, okay, so more Armstrong Siddeley content coming then, eh? Is yeah. that everything? Have we spoke about everything? Oh yeah, I know what's left to do. What's Pop that? the steering box up, but I ain't got any blinking oil. Oh, a steering fluid? No, it's iPod 140. But I haven't got any. Oh. That's it then? Yeah. Did you see me annealing those washers? I did. Oh. There it is then, quite a lot of work still to come on the Armstrong Sidley Lancaster. That wheel cylinder needs repairing and as Dad said, he's going to try and repair it with some sort of kit that he's got off the internet. Managed to get a hard brake pedal now and actually finding that leak in the brake system uh, has hopefully solved a problem there. Lots of work still to do then on the near side including work on that shock absorber, but the Armstrong Sidley Lancaster uh, work is ongoing. Interesting about those plug caps and how they've seemingly failed in less than a couple of years and interesting that all the people have had the same problem as well. More work still to come, more updates still to come and probably a final test drive with the Lancaster on the channel. If you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up please. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Uh, comment down below, what do you reckon? Are we wasting our time with the Armstrong Sidley or is it worth keeping this old girl on the road with some proper old school engineering techniques? Thanks as ever to Dad. Thanks as ever to you. Until next time, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I genuinely hope you've enjoyed this video. I've selected a couple more from my channel for you that I think that you might like here. Give them a click and it will take you to the next video. Don't forget to hit subscribe to always stay up to date with what we're getting up to.